Hi, I'm David. In this session, we'll discuss using the Australian Guide to Legal Citations, or AGLC4, citation style in EndNote and Word. This video is brought to you by checkmycitations.com.au. We're Melbourne-based and can help you with EndNote queries, adding and editing citations bibliographies within your paper, thesis or article, word formatting and much more. Click subscribe to be notified when more content is added. The topics that we'll cover today are listed just there. Do a search for the EndNote AGLC4 style and find one of the sites that includes both the reference type table and the EndNote style. I've provided some links in the video description of styles that I would recommend using. I'm going to use this site to download the AGLC4 style and also the reference type table. It doesn't matter what version of EndNote you've got, this will work with EndNote X8, X9 and 20. Instructions are usually provided on the site too. We'll go through them in a moment. I'm using EndNote 20 on a Mac. The instructions are similar on a PC. On a Mac, once you've downloaded the files, go to the EndNote 20 menu item and go to Preferences. On a PC, Preferences and under Files. What you'll then do is go to the Reference Types section and click on the Import button. Then from Downloads, select the AGLC4 reference types. It's usually an XML file. Click Open and click Save. So what you'll find is once you've included this reference type table, you'll get a whole lot of different references in EndNote that you can use. So different types of statutes, different type of cases, which you normally wouldn't get. That's what's really important to include the reference type table. To install the style, close EndNote. From the Finder, find Applications, and then go to the EndNote Styles folder. In the Downloads folder, copy the AGC4 style, and then paste it into the Styles folder. Paste item, and it appears there in the Styles. Then what you need to do is reopen EndNote. Once EndNote's open, go to Tools, Output Styles, and then you'll need to open the Style Manager. Scroll until you find the style, AGLC4, and then put a tick next to it, and then close the screen. I noticed earlier, playing with this particular AGLC4 style, that the case reported um, output was not quite correct when it displayed in the bibliography. So I'm going to just show you quickly how to edit an output style. So under Tools, Output Styles, and then Open Style Manager. The one we're going to use is AGLC4, and we click on Edit. Okay. Now, as I said, it's under the Bibliography, so go to Templates there. And that's all your different reference types. The one we want is Case Reported. As I said, I noticed it didn't have a title in the case for some reason. So what we're going to do is put in insert field title and that will insert the title at that particular position. We'll need to just put a space there. I'm just going to check the other one too. So case medium neutral also we'll need to put a title in there and then a space. Once you've made those changes, click on the X or the red dot to close and click on save. If it asks you to give it a name, just give it a new name. Now from the screen, you'll need to just tick the new name that you've given it. So I gave it a new name with a capital V, V2, and we close out of this screen. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to check out our website, checkmycitations.com.au, for more great blogs and tips and tricks.